we're going to do some hot spots in this video. A hot spot is actually just a hyperlink where you've drawn a certain uh, a certain area over top of a picture to be that hyperlink because typically if someone was going to link to a picture they just click on the picture like this and just go and create a link to it. Okay, but sometimes you might actually want to link just to certain areas of a picture. And here I'll show you a perfect example. I was helping uh, my friend with with the, the website for a surf shop up in the bend and you guys have seen me bring this one up in class before and he had uh, the idea that to just break it up more simply on his website um, we weren't going to list all the products on the website but at least give a, a good idea of what we had in each department so he said well let's just have a picture for each department and the picture will link to it so instead of making this five pictures I made this cool looking kind of graphic like this this is actually just one picture Okay, so in, in design view here, if I sit on it, that's the picture. It's got a white background, and each of those things were placed in the white background. And I've drawn a little box over each part that links to, if I click on that hotspot, his wakeboarding department, which is at the wake page. Okay, and then here, so within the same picture, I've created five hyperlinks. That's the advantage of hotspots. And it really comes in handy when you have travel sites, or maybe you have a recipe site, and you want to you want to showcase like one of the condiments or something you could actually draw a hotspot over just that condiment and then people when they roll over it the description will come up then they'll know to click on it it's very similar to Facebook the way people are tagged in photographs so if they're tagged and the pictures in there you can go and sit on the name and click on it and it'll go to their profile but within the same picture you can click on somebody else's tag and it'll go to their profile so that's just a good example of what I'm about to do and now I'll show you how it's done so you have to have an actual picture like a JPEG, GIF, PNG in the HTML. When I say in the HTML, I mean this is an image source in the HTML. This picture, uh, go back to Design View right here that I also created. I made that um, with simple Photoshop stuff. It was no big deal. It took me a while, but you know, uh, this picture is, is is here to resemble like students coming from Europe over to Canada, students from Canada going over to Europe, yada yada yada. <laughs> but I wanted it in the background so that it didn't get moved around. I didn't want the one division pushing this down or getting it affected by the padding and stuff like that. Uh, so I just put it right into the background. And when you have it in the background, here, for the number one, if I go into my code, it's not in the HTML. See? So there's a big difference. It's, it's in the CSS. And if you have it in the CSS, you can't draw a hotspot just on nothing, on, on the actual HTML page. You have to be drawing it over a picture, okay? So, the way to do this is make sure you're in classic view because it's much easier to pull up in classic view. So I'm in classic view. A lot of you, I think when you get your machines, you're usually in design view. See how you don't have that nice little collection of tools up there? In classic view, it's way easier to find some of this stuff. It's in the insert menu somewhere, but it's it's easier to find just from the common tab here. In classic view, common tab. Uh, this is my image uh, menu in common tab. And whatever I use last is going to come up on there. So I'm looking at a hotspot icon right now, but if I happen to use the image placeholder last, uh, that'll be the thing that's there. So I want you to be aware that these menus are very interactive. So if you don't see the hotspot there, don't think it disappeared. It's still in that, that uh, sixth menu over. Well, you might not, I have these in my, you might not have six, but it's still in the image menu. You just have to go in and grab it. So I'm going to use rectangle. You can draw all kinds of shapes. Like if I wanted to go over that circle and link to like a Canada site and go over that one and link to a EU site, I could do that. What I'm going to do is just something really simple here to link back to the home page and all the pages. And that's draw a rectangle hawk spot. As soon as I pick it up with my mouse, I just click once. I go in here and you can see my mouse has changed now. So if I click and draw and then let go, I've drawn this hot spot, okay? And with the hot spot drawn, I can then click OK and then go down here and apply a link. It'll automatically put a dead link in. Number signs dead link. We know that by now. And I'm going to just always link back to the home page. Index.html. That was easy. Or I could just drag it in there. And target I'm going to leave. I'm not going to make it a blank target or have it open up as a new page or anything. I just want it to open up in the same window. So just leave it. And then you can give the link a quick description. And that way if if people roll over it, that may not work in all browsers actually. Usually they don't come up automatically, but I think if most browsers it would. If you give it a, a description, um, so I'm going to say, hmm, back to the home page. Something real simple there. 
Um, and this is alt though. I'm not 100% sure that will work in a hotspot. I know it's, it, I've, I've had to add the description in in the past, but uh, let's take a look at how this turns out. So, so in code view, uh, what we've got is a map, and I just drew one, so this is becoming map two. Um, it's a rectangle shape. It gives exact coordinates for where it is on the page over top of that image and then where it goes back to and what the alternative is. So that is, oh, what is this other one still doing in there? I just tested this. That other one shouldn't be in there anymore. So I just got that out of there. Okay, good. Uh, otherwise, this would have just come up as map. So, so and, and it's relative to the page. So this you could have a map too on another page and that would still be fine. So there's a map to on this page. And then the only other thing it added in there is inside the image source itself, you have to have a use map code. And it puts that in for you. Okay, you don't have to have that. You don't have to put that in. Um, excuse me. Uh, you don't have to go adding that in after. So that, that automatically was in there. So if I was to go and open this in a browser, um, and this isn't going to be the best demonstration because I haven't added the ones of the other pages yet. But uh, where are my sites? And... I'll go right into my folder there for pages. Make sure I've saved it. Okay. And I don't need to be in pages actually, just index. Okay, so now when this opens up in Safari, I'll be able to go over that hotspot and if I click on it, it'll just go back to see? Now the picture's not even showing up, right? Because I'm not I'm not um, I opened the file without Yeah, why is it doing that in Safari? Uh, index images. Hmm, weird. Picture should be showing up. I don't know what Safari is doing here. Um, however, you can see when I drag my mouse across, when I get to that spot, see? I can click on it and it'll just keep going back to the same page. I mean, it's not actually going to do anything. When I load this up the next time, when I ha add it to more pages, then you'll see it go back to the home page. So here's how we're going to add it to other pages. So once it's in there, okay, you can click on it one more time, make sure everything's good. So. Going back to index, yes, very good. Back to home page is my description now. That tech, I keep calling that. That's that's really just the name of the hotspot. If you want to give an image, um, sorry, a link, a description. When you when you highlight a hyperlink here, you can see this is opening blank. See how I gave this a title? It's actually called title. Okay. And when you go to this, you can see that there's this additional thing in there called title. So this is how you'd get the actual words to come up in the hyperlink. So. If I go back to the index where I have my hotspot, okay. Where the heck? Hang on a second. What is going on here? Why isn't it saved in there? This is really weird. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm just going to draw that again really fast. So this is good. You guys are good to see me do it twice because I was only going to do it once. But for some reason, I didn't save. Did I close without saving? That really just bugs me. Um, okay, here. Uh, let's do this one more time. Rectangular hotspot. I just clicked right on it, see, because it was the last thing I brought up. Draw it over the picture. Please give it some info. It's going to link to index.html. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably already drew it on this page, which is, I think, what I did. Uh, yep, that's exactly what I did. Um, so it, I wasn't losing my mind. It actually was there, uh, which is probably why Index was doing something weird, because I'd, I'd practiced drawing one before. Um, you know, I'm not going to re-record this video. I think you guys fully understand what's going on here. So what I just did was I drew, I drew one on the wrong page, thought I was on the home page. Then I tried to load the home page and because the home page had one that I'd drawn on it before but wasn't working, that's why the picture wasn't coming up. It was doing some weird stuff there. So when I do all this correctly, it'll all load up fine. So in the code here, I'm just drawing one on an index as well. So I'm gonna do a couple of them. Um, in the code here, you see that, 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 and you see the little added thing there, use map, that's great. Okay, uh, everything's good. The only thing we don't have is, is those words that come up when you roll over it, and that doesn't come from alt, okay, as I thought, I was kind of taking a guess there. That's, I don't use hotspots that often, but when you're there, that's alt is really just naming the hotspot um, as, as, as you name an image with alternate, 
alternative text in case it wouldn't come up. So back to home page, hotspot, we're going to call it, okay? If you want um, that additional information that comes up with a link, you'd have to add a title, right? So right here you can see this has a title. When I'm on a hotspot in Dreamweaver, it doesn't really give me anywhere to add the title, okay? Even if I go to the map ID, you know, the link is here. So that's not a big deal. You can just go into the code if you want that to come up in there. And it can be anywhere in here. Um, where's the hyperlink? Uh, there's the href. So see where it says alt? Right before alt, you could go and put a title in. So my title is just going to be back to home page, okay? Back to home page. Uh, maybe with capitals, you know, make it look nice. So see, I've just added that in where the hyper, where it would usually go in a hyperlink. And now it didn't give me the WYSIWYG box to do that, but it's very easy to add a title. You just got to make sure you put it in quotes. So now I will save that, okay? And not save the one I had before with the, with the, uh, the bad changes. And then I'll go back here, okay? And I'm going to open this up. Um, and when I do... Okay, good. Um, and then I will go back to home page and it'll reload home page. And see how the words come up there now? I know why this is happening with my images. I just did that recently. Um, it's putting this uh, forward slash in front of everything, which works no problem online. You, you, you kind of want that there for faster delivery. Watch what happens here. For faster delivery of your uh, images on a page and for links and stuff. But on your computer, if you have the forward slash, it doesn't actually work, okay? So now, you can see every time I use it, it reloads. Now, when I did this, it did create around it um, some HTML linking characteristics that I'm going to want to get rid of, okay? And for that, you need to watch the video. Um, it's very close to this one about rollover links and stuff like that. Uh, and, and it'll show you how to actually change uh, the way your links work inside of your site. So... Once you make one of them, okay, you're going to go back and you don't have to keep redoing it, all right? Once you get one done, I have the same exact image on top. I've done the title. I've done everything. You can just take from where the div starts for the logo, okay, div align center, and I do want it to stay in the center. So take the div align center and take the image too because the image has that little code in there that it added. Take the entire image down to the end of map and then, to, and then the, the closing div and copy it and because you didn't put this in your pages before it's not just going to show up on them all you want to go to each page to that spot up at the top okay, and just paste that in there and now we'll have the same exact hotspot on every page and I'm not going to record me doing that on, on a million pages but that's how you do it and then you have the hotspot on all the pages that goes back to home page um, and that thing with the forward slash that was preventing my image from coming up that, that is not a big deal when you go to launch online. And as soon as you connect to a server, when you drag images right in, Dreamweaver starts doing that. It adds the forward slash for you. So I want, I want to make sure you guys are aware of that because you might have the same sort of dilemma when you sort of go to open it up and you're always expecting to see the picture because I always preview mine online. Um, so just, just be aware that's why that was happening. And that's how to make a hotspot.